Here's what I found. This is the request. You're doing this one? You're accepting this request? Hello, Chickster. Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Choose which skill. Is this the per- Be born anew. that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Is this the persona you'd like? Now, let us begin. Navigator. Ugh, but being the navigator's my job. It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Huh, I guess that's true. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Alright, guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah, let's get going. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. Seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cells calling our names. Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Call it whatever you want. You gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. Just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Nuts. <laughs> the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. 
But... That voice... Is it not Sume? It can't be... Acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. <laughs> Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's really bad. <laughs> I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one, and I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does by some miracle make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs> are the worst. Here it comes. Right on you. A talent must hack like you was hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless! This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya. Careful! It's using different weapons from last time. Let's go. Take it! That does it. 
We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? It seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. Those editors are horrible. And they knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas, pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor. And battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as you. Inari! It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. He, however, doesn't seem to have anyone. Natsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. Now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. Okay, all that's left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. That should materialize them. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? Huh. He probably remembers our faces, though. I doubt he'd take anything from us. Hmm. What do we do? Mommy! He could be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom, huh? Don't worry, I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramso's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would ya? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pup sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid, too? Is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <laughs> hey, wait. Where are you going? It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. Uh, the kid totally thinks he's a creep. That kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? Right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkiji what he thinks. <sighs> sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. Only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? You want my advice? You should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I gotta draw the line at breaking the law. Hmm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. 
You really are a Gramps. You know that? <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? Uh, whatever. My point is, go with something simple. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. In that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah. If we did it and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up, too! You saying you can't do it? <sighs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. You kids. All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Listen to me. A fusion. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. the persona you'd like. Now, let us begin. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Natsume. Good morning. I see. There's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes. About that. What is it? What? What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is, to preserve the crime scene. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume, you are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work. Finding your own pockets all the while. 
we refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> Honestly, how stupid can you get? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having these desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty. I won't hand them over. I won't give them up. You foolish heroes are nothing but talk. Come then. I'll crush every last one of you. All right. His cognition should be changed now. Thank you for all your help, Mr. Detective. <sighs> and with that, I've officially become an accomplice of the Phantom Thieves. What are you complaining about? You're the one who proposed working with us, remember? As a reward, I'll try to start calling you Zenkichi instead of Gramps from now on. Okay? Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah, Zenkichi's good, don't you think? Okay, then. From now on, you're Zenkichi-san, all right? I'm looking forward to working together, Zenkichi. Oh, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far. Yet. Now then, the desire should have materialized at this point. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. And in doing so, we'll set his distorted heart straight. Back those stolen desires. Yeah, Natsume won't know what hit him. I promise to do my best. I won't let you down. Out the Overlord from Prince of Nightmares. He certainly gives off that impression, but weren't the Fearsome Four just dressed like normal people? Yeah, thinking about it, those guys didn't get much love from the author, did they? <laughs> You've come all this way only to fall right into my trap. This world belongs to me and me alone. It takes shape solely according to my design. Here, the Overlord reigns justice upon the holier-than-thou heroes who would dare brand him as evil. Here you are nothing more than flies to be swatted. I'll enjoy hearing those filthy screams as you atone for your transgressions. That's bold for someone who stole others' desires just to satisfy their own selfish wants. Yeah, if you're really the Overlord, ain't this the part where you get your ass kicked? <laughs> Tell me. How many of my demon brethren have you slaughtered while spouting such despicable hypocrisies? Wow, this guy's reading right from the handbook, isn't he? Enough of this. It's time we fought, no matter how brave a facade you put on. It's clear you're just afraid of losing that hollow throne you're so proud of. 
What was that? Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth. I'm sick and tired of everyone looking down on me. Yes, the time has come for my true power. You wretches shall witness my final form! Overlord! Defeat! 
Identity was just a cheap imitation. It's over, Ango Natsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I've suffered! It's not too late for me! I've still got my reputation as a writer! I've won an award! I've sold books! It's not too late! It's never too late! And that's good enough for you? <laughs> this fame you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... Damn it! Damn it! I tried. I really tried. Just like everyone else, I read and read all through the night. For hours on end, like my life depended on it. And for what? Was ever mine. It was just another work from Sogo Natsume's grandson. No one, no one ever acknowledged my effort. My effort, not my work, not even me. No matter where I look, all I see is a bunch of thoughtless idiots, slaves to appearances, and nothing more. Acknowledge me, damn it. Acknowledge Ango Natsume's efforts for once! I just want someone to see that I really tried! I do. Huh? It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. No matter your profession. You were battling that loneliness. You braced yourself. Pouring your very soul into your writing, bringing it to your publisher time and time again. I will gladly acknowledge such effort and determination. <laughs> there are many out there who would give up that battle. Even those of exceptional skill and creativity. To be able to continuously bring life to new works without giving up, however. That is perhaps the most exceptional talent of all. There was once a time when you kept fighting. That is one part of your career that could never be labeled a fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward. After all, there are some things that simply cannot be painted without a blank canvas. <laughs> it is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe in you. <sighs> Stupid kid. Talking my damn ear off. But... You're right. This identity of mine was built on nothing but lies. I don't need it anymore! Do it. I'll climb my way back up. And I'll do it on my own strength. I'll write a novel that'll capture the hearts of countless readers, just like my grandfather before me. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! Good. And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> you know, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now what it is I really wanted. <sighs> the cage is collapsing. Come on, we're leaving!
Looks like it's over for now. Mission complete. I wonder if everyone's desires have been returned yet. Probably. They all went flying out of the cage after all. Maybe we should check on the people back in town, just to be safe. Good idea. That said, the jail didn't disappear this time either. Now I'm sure of it. Jails really aren't the same as palaces. Well, we can worry about it later. Indeed. Let's go. Hey. I feel as though I'm restless right now. Do you know what this is? I'm not sure what's wrong. Natsumi tried his hardest, but somewhere along the way, he lost sight of what mattered to him. He is a strange person, Natsume. Yes, he did say he would climb back up. Yusuke said Natsume lost his way because he was alone. Whenever I think about that, I feel restless inside. Even though Natsume hurt a lot of people and was, for some time, one of our enemies. What is this feeling? The same as Yusuke? I see. So that's why Yusuke saved Natsume. It was because Natsume's reason for doing all those terrible things was really sad. I think I understand now. Sadness can hurt people, but it can also save them. It can give humans a reason to support one another. You can count on me. <laughs> okay, we should probably get going. So, you know how I was all excited for the Tanabata festival that's coming up? My boyfriend says he's already got plans. Oh, by the way, did you ever finish reading that manga I lent you? I got someone else who wants to borrow it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it worked. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's talking about Natsume anymore. Then, all's as it should be. Obtaining fame through some deceptive power doesn't fit his image. This wouldn't have been possible without you being there to open his eyes, Yusuke. You really took charge today, Inari. Hero Inari has restored peace and harmony throughout the land. Thank you, everyone. However, we're not finished just yet. We must confirm whether the change of heart was a success. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Oh. Well, since we've got some free time, can we unwind at a bathhouse or something? Oh, I'm totally beat. Good idea. We can freshen up a little before we head back to the car. You heard him, Sophia. It's all you. Okay, I'll find the best bathhouse in the area. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares, was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I've also decided to recall all published copies not to mention take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only won because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors, word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie to garner sympathy. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. I wish to apologize for this scandal 
and I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. I promise my writing career ends here. I am deeply sorry for all that I've done to all of you. Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Hey, time to wrap it up. Get everyone out of here, now. Peace, don't interfere. This is my way of taking responsibility. Hey, something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume is the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Uh. Hey! Uh, uh, who, who are you? I will not allow this. You... You're the one from the party. I'm so sorry for what I said back then. I will not allow you to cower and run away, Ango Natsume. You intend to make a comeback, do you not? Huh? When you do return to the literary world, I want to see a book with your name on it, not your grandfather's. <gasps> you are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? Where are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories, no matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope I can one day save someone's soul the way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. Sheesh, you kids are something else. Barging in on a press conference like that? My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. All right, well, I gotta run. I have to go question Natsume. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. Senkichi's really doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. I am an actual cop. Anyway, it won't take long. So go on and wait for me back at the car. Guess we should get rolling then. Right. We'll leave the rest to him. Do you have a moment? Something about Natsume has been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Nothing will change that. However, was he really like Madarame? Can he truly be called evil like the palace rulers we confronted in the past? Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? And what do you think? I see. Yes, it is a rather difficult question. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. Let's go. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. 
And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? You're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? No. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Maybe. This seems like it'd be pretty difficult for a third party to pull off. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? <sighs> Not yet, no. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? You don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. <sighs> Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in a Yukata sounds wonderful. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san, and it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He is not a dude. He is Lord Date Masamune, the one-eyed dragon of ocean. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? Oh, there are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? I'm cool with that. 
I don't know why, but yaki soba from the food stand always tastes so friggin' good. Uh, let's hold off on the food for now. I want to check out all the booths with Lady On first. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Look, this furball's got claws, you bonehead! Sorry for the wait. <gasps> lady On, you look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry, tying the obi took quite some time. Thanks. It means a lot hearing that from you. Absolutely picturesque. You brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You gotta try and make me feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo? No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. What do you call it? <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look, they've got all the staples. Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice. They've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Tohoku. What are we waiting for? Charge! Come on, we should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah! Let's start from one end and get one of everything. It feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch both fish. Mm. <laughs> that was so good. Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai! And it was amazing! Gotta hand it to old man Masamune. He is one cool dude. That's lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. The trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow! That's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. You're getting a call from Zenkichi. Yo, you guys having fun? Oh yeah? Good to hear. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Aoba campus. Not that kind of session. The CEO of Madis is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. I'll treat you guys to dinner or something. The food in Hokkaido is really something special, you know? And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. His name is Akira Konoe. And he looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away, all right? What did he want? Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work.
As you all know, life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Adisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I think so, too. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Grandf was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. Long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Ugh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Mona! Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard! The hell are we gonna do? Oh, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. Wow, to think you guys are the famous phantom thieves. Come on now, don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? 
I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medice came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medice is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? I guess it's too late to cover this up. Then, we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! Could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... If I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? No, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions. Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Thiefy! I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on it! Right. Well, for starters... We'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you, as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Hmm. Huh. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? Okay, looking forward to it. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia? Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity.
Saturday's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is... Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Yes, that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Hey, That's fine. Something is amiss. Right, right. Aww. In that case, 